Hello back everyone. So throughout this session, our task is to convert this code to a function, which we take it in our last session. So that's basically very simple mathematical equation. It's basically two to the power three equal eight. All right, so can you right now convert that one to a function? Yes. All we have to do before all of the definition of the variables we need to write a keyword and that one called it function. All we have to do is to write a keyword called it function and let's give it a name, power, and here is it, the parameter. And after that, it's opening and closing curly bracket. And definitely the opening curly bracket and after that, the whole equation and the end, it will be the closing curly bracket that's awesome but right now look at the console there is nothing over there because of what because you didn't call this function you just define it but you didn't call it at least one time so how can we call it yes all we have to do is to take that function name with a parameter and just put it here and look at the console and here is that it. it's eight because we called this function only one time but guess what if i take this power and i will call it another time like that guess what yeah he show you the first eight and here is that the second eight to you know get out the confusion let me clear the console and let me print it for the third time we shall saw it only three times look at that one two three all right so let's clear it again and just let me call it for the fourth time and look at that right now here is it you saw it four times that's perfect but right now your function it's basically constant it's all the time will show the same result I think we need to make it you know, a little bit dynamic. Let me make this one again clear. And here is that I will start by defining some parameter. So here is that the parameter will be x and power. Here is that x and power. And to define that one, we're gonna say let x and that one let power also. And here is that I will remove those from here, all right, just right now, and I will put default parameter over there. The default parameter for x, it will be two, and the default parameter for the power will be three. In case you didn't pass anything for your function, it will work with the normal equation, which is basically two to the power three equal eight, all right that's nice but if you case if another case if you change the parameter the result definitely will be changed let us see the result right now so let me remove that calling and i will start by saying power just you know empty and in another case i will say power two to the power four and in another case, I will say three. So look at that. Here is that the first result is basically eight because we didn't provide any parameter. So he take the default parameter, which is basically two and three and two to the power three, it's basically eight. And the other one, we are talking about two to the power four, it's basically 16. He already override the current default parameter because you pass two to the first parameter and you pass four to the second parameter also so it's working two to the power four it's basically 16 and the last one three to the power two it gives you nine 